This is Truck Talk 180, and I'm your host, Doug Campbell. Today, I wanted to talk about feeding the system. I wanted to talk about how we all feed this criminal system. I don't think that there's any doubt in anybody's mind that's paying attention that we have a completely criminal government from top to bottom. We've got out of control police that are shooting first and asking questions later. Uh, we've got banks that steal from uh, segregated customer accounts and there's absolutely no accountability. Here in Delaware, we will probably reelect John Carney and Tom Carper, who have been instrumental in creating this disaster and have been complicit in all of these uh, crimes conducted by uh, executive uh, branch agencies and uh, and then also all of these private companies and banks. It's just criminality all over the place. And if you steal, you got to steal big. <clears throat> and we all feed this system. Number one, we have to look at what are we investing our money in. We're all set up with these 401k and IRA plans and whatnot where this money goes to Wall Street and goes to these big companies and it goes to feed that criminality. We all might be profiting from it a little bit on the surface it seems with uh, dividend payouts or increase in price of the stock or the value of, your, uh, of these paper assets. But let me tell you that your investments, your money is being used against you. So the first, one of the easiest things that everybody can do, and this is not investment advice because that would imply we had a first amendment, is what we, what I have done is we've pulled out all of our money from our 401k, our IRA. If it's a paper asset that can be liquidated to cash, that's what we turned it into. And then <clears throat> you try to get yourself uh, you know, get yourself a generator, get yourself some food stores, uh, some pro home protection, and then you go and get yourself some metal. And whether it be silver or gold, that kind of depends on how much paper uh, you, you've got. You, you, want it in, you want it in a way that you can carry it. If you're a young guy like me and pretty broke, hey, move, get, get all silver. Uh, but if you're an older person and you've got a lot of money, get yourself some gold. Uh, but I would, I, I would not be 100% in gold. I would at least, at the most, a gold to silver ratio. I would be like, uh, you know, 80% gold, 20% silver. Unless you're just a freaking millionaire <clears throat> or a multimillionaire. I don't know. Have some silver. That's all I can say. But number one is get the invest, get your money out of these poisonous investments. You know, these stocks that you might be invested in and don't even know it are in things like JP Morgan uh, or the big banking stocks, or you got uh, Monsanto or Glasgow Smith Klein or all these pharmaceutical companies that are just selling people poison, or Monsanto is genetically altering our food supply and altering our bodies. And any study you look at will show that, that it, any study done by an independent group and not one that's bought by them will show you how poisonous this crap is. Number two is you vote with your dollar. You vote with your dollar every time you go spend money somewhere. If you're uh, if you're looking at uh, buying something, don't buy it from a big company. Uh, when you go to the grocery store, I do not buy. All right, there's a, just a very few products that that's all they make. You know, start small, and you know the more you get into it, the more strict you get with yourself. But I try to avoid. Uh, General Mills, uh, Kraft, uh, Post, uh, all the big names. If it's one of those ones that's, you know, got 10, 20 different products, uh, you know, those are the kinds that I don't buy. And I buy from smaller producers 
uh, organic as much as I can. I know it's expensive, but if you look at the um, if you look at the nutritional value and the fact that you probably don't have to eat as much because your calories actually contain vitamins and minerals that your body needs instead of all these empty calories that are within uh, that are in the high fructose corn syrup based products. You, you vote with your dollar and so you can stop feeding this poisonous system by not buying their crap. Number three is who are you voting for? Like I said earlier, Tom Carper and John Carney are up for re-election this year. And, uh, and Tom Carper has been there a while. And if you look at his committee assignments, he is, um, he's in charge of IRS oversight. We'll just pick that one out. IRS oversight. IRS is buying shotguns. They are, uh, they know that illegals are stealing people's social security numbers and setting up uh, accounts and doing business. And more importantly, they're, they're filing tax returns. And so the illegals are getting fraudulent tax returns back with these people's social security numbers. And the IRS knows that their identity has been stolen, but they're still going after the middle class, the person that was uh, you know, had their identity stolen and taken all their crap. And Tom Carper is in charge of IRS oversight. If you've ever heard story, everybody's heard of nightmare stories of how the IRS just goes extraditionally and goes and seizes accounts and, and, and makes people's lives hell. Uh, you know, the IRS destroyed, you know, my father's business and busted up uh, our family relationship years ago. And that son of a bitch is in charge of IRS oversight. So if you think he's done a good job, go ahead and reelect him. But don't be surprised if, he, if they allow them to steal every damn thing that you and your father and his father have worked for. We're all slaves on a big damn grid. And as long as we've got the Federal Reserve issuing our currency instead of the Treasury, and we've got slime balls like Tom Carper up there destroying this country, we're going to be slaves. So, so pull your money out, get prepared, and vote these pieces of trash out.